Hello everyone, Joe Morton here for the fifth edition of Positive In, a YouTube channel dedicated to positive thinking to affect our day for the positive, of course. So um, why do I say daily? I think it's very important that we daily um, give ourselves doses of, of positivity. And like Zig Ziglar said, someone once said, I tried a salad once and it didn't do me a bit of good. It's what we do every day that counts. So we don't want to just try the salad once every quarter or so. It's daily. So find ways to be able to give yourself doses of, of excitement and enthusiasm to help your day just go amazing. So I, I've talked about in some of the past editions the importance of being cautious with the news. I recognize that people like to keep up on things and, and the news is a way to be able to do that, but be cautious because they feed on fear. They feed on negativity. It's true. It's just true. Just go right now, go to the website, look, at, look up whatever website, whatever news station you like and see what they have to offer. Chances are most of it's not very positive, but there is some positive. So if you want to find some, and I like to do that from time to time, just scan through. It takes you a little work, got to kind of weed through things, but if you can find some positive. So I'm giving you a solution here. Find the positive. And I found one today that I thought it would be kind of fun to share with you. Um, Sister Christina might not fit your image of a nun, but she rocked Italian TV. So Italy's got their version of The Voice, okay? And the 25-year-old Sicilian nun sang her way to the finals of this singing competition without any flashy costumes or makeup. And yesterday, she won the competition, beating out a long-haired rocker, um, who was quite excited for her, actually. I, I, I watched this little snippet. Uh, I clicked through to it, and it was fun to see. And it's a feel-good. It's a feel-good. So there's good stuff in the news. Just look for it and help to propel you into a great day of just happiness, you know? Happy. Be happy, right? Daily doses of happiness. So today's subject that I want to focus on is one word. And I'm going to talk about it in two different segments. Today will be one part of it and then a different element of it at a different segment. But it is this simple word. Listen. Listen. Sometimes it's the very simple things that make such a profound impact in our lives. So I'm reading some books by Edgar Tolle and I read a book called Stillness Speaks. He talks about just being still and listening to the miracle that life is. And he wrote this book, he started his incredible uh, uh, going on to success, of course, of, uh, um, you know, his book Power of Now is what took him to the, to the first level. And um, so he writes in this book, Power of Now, he talks about in his life, he went through this incredible transformation in this really dark period of almost like a depression, he says. And he woke up one day and he realized that he was just, his senses were on overdrive and he was recognizing everything in his life. And that's why he refers to the power of now. That we focus so much in our lives, and hear this out, because I know it affects you and it affects all of us. It affects me. We all do this. We focus so much on the past, so much on listening to the negativity of the past, the problems that we've created, the, the mistakes we've made, the mistakes our family members have made with us, friends, uh, neighbors, family members, the future. Oh, what's going to happen in the future? Am I going to pass that exam? What's going to happen at, that, at, at my presentation today? So focused on stressing ourselves about the future that are we ever taking the time to stop and enjoy the power of now by listening to what our life has to offer? I've tried this the last few days. It's amazing. Some of you may have seen my posts on Facebook where I just was listening. I sat out on my porch. It was magical. And this is what you're going to hear, depending on where you're at. I mean, I don't, uh, it depends, you know, you could be in the country, you could be in the city. I happen to be in a, in a, in a residential area. It was early in the morning, for example, this morning, and I could hear some cars in the background, and that's tendly, we tend to hear the noise. I can hear a few people are out running, them talking. But then as I listened more, I started to hear the rustling of the, the leaves in the wind, 
birds chirping, insects and other things that are going on. You hear a little bit of construction over there and then you drown it out and you just start to hear the miracle of life. It's amazing, even for a few brief moments in a day. But try this in the morning, try it at night, try it at work. Stop for a moment and just listen to the miracle of life. It's amazing what you end up hearing as you, get, as you, as you enjoy the now. Try to forget about the past for just a moment and the future for just a moment. And just enjoy the now and recognize incredible, uh, how incredible life is. Now at another time I want to talk about listening to other people too. Listening to what they have to say. We all have challenges with this, me included. Where you, you t we tend to want to talk and tell everyone, tell everyone what's going on in our lives. But what if we just listen? what others have to say. We'll talk about that in another edition. But for right now, listen to the greatness of life around you and enjoy the now. This is Joe Morton for the fifth edition of Positive In. Make it a great day. Thank you.